Welcome to the Perlow Podcast. We talk construction, its people, its challenges, its opportunities. It's a tilt-up building, and so people who aren't used to seeing a tilt-up building may not quite understand the sequence of events to get it up out of the ground. So can you talk us through a little bit of the parts and pieces that go into getting the building from greenfield to completed shell? So the dirt worker starts stripping the site. Then when, a lot of times, if it's summertime, you don't have to CT a lot of times, but... CT depend. is? Concrete treat the soil. Okay. So depends, sometimes you have to in the summer too, but here we had to CT the site. So we CT to the site, rocked it, started digging footings, started grading for slab. So once the footings get dug, we. Start, we get geo out here, check everything out, proof roll everything. Then we start building footings, slab at the same time. Once we get slab going, we spray the slab with bond breakers so we can build our panels on that slab. We start just sort of working our way down through the building with slab footings, panels. By the time we get to the end, hopefully everything works out good and they all lift off the slab and we tilt the panels. Then we start the roof structure and go from there. I think a piece people may not know is when you build your slab for the building, you don't actually run the slab all the way up to where the walls no, are going to be at first. You got a pour strip because the s panels have to tie into the slab. That's part of your structural of your building. You got rebar coming out of your panels that tie in with the slab along with your roof and then that ties everything in so so those panels tilt up and they sit on your footings yep. and then you've got a gap between that wall and feet, what's there for the, the slab time. 10 feet okay and then at the kind of the end once yep. you've once got the, the roof structure up tied in we'll start backfilling and then we'll pour the pour strip around the building okay and a lot of times we'll see utilities and oh, yeah. low voltage yeah. things like that. All in your that electrical will get in there before we start backfilling, so then we don't have to dig for him. So he's already got a lot of that in already. All right. So it's a good rule of thumb to um, always check that space if you're going to be putting in, say, a dock after oh, the yeah. fact. Yep. Make sure you're not running into Below any utilities in there. Dock. Just later on a spec building like this. Actually, I'm pouring both ends and not pouring my dock for a while. Just because they might get a tenant. And I told Spec that I will hold off till the very last. And then if they don't have a tenant, then we'll go ahead and pour that. Okay, that, that way we sense. don't have to cut it back out. Right, right. a little more efficient that way. Yeah. And that shouldn't hold up anything else nope. on your building. Nope. Yeah. Visit us online at perlo.biz. Subscribe to catch our future episodes and join us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube to discuss all things construction. And finally, work hard, do what's right, and make it fun.